Once you've carried out a group level analysis in SPM, you can view your results in a couple of different ways. One of them is on a volume where you can click around with your crosshairs and view your results in three different orthogonal views. Another way is to render your results onto a surface and I'll show you how to do each of those through the SPM interface. Here I'm going to load up results which simply look at the main effect of a painful shock delivered to the left hand. So here I'm going to use a relatively conservative threshold. And the first thing you see is this glass brain where you can see three orthogonal views through the coronal, sagittal, and horizontal sections of the brain. Now if I click on overlays and I go to sections, if I go to my directory containing my SPM library, and here, this may be different for you, but here's where we installed ours. So in a folder, either SPM5, SPM8, you'll see another folder called Canonical. So click on that, and then you can use any of these templates to view your results on. Single subject T1 is usually pretty good because you can see some of the underlying anatomy. So here we delivered shocks to the left hand. Not surprisingly, I see activation in the anterior cingulate cortex and the right motor cortex. Also know that if at any time when you load up different results, if you click on overlays and then click on previous sections after you've already loaded your sections, it'll bring back up this graph right here. Now another way you can do it is by rendering. So if I click on overlays and then render, again I go to my directory containing my SPM libraries. This may be different for you. And I click on this folder called Rend. Okay. So again, render single subject, you get some more underlying variability in the anatomy, which might be interesting. So click on that, select Done. Style, either new or old. The old is going to look a little bit more like this. It's going to be more of a heat map. Where new, it looks more like it's been spray painted on. I'm going to select New. I'm not going to brighten the blobs at all. And select RGB for the colors. Now here, with the rendering, you can see more clearly where the activation lies on the surface of the brain. Okay, so in this case, even though I know that I have some activation in my anterior cingulate area, that's more of a medial structure, more hidden in the midline, and so you're not going to be able to see it very well on this rendered surface. However, I do get a better picture of the activation on the surface of the motor cortex. So remember, if I want to toggle between the two, simply click on Overlays, and I can go to Previous Sections or Previous Rendering to switch between the two. This technique is a little bit outdated, but if you want to use it just to make a quick and dirty graph for surface rendering, that's fine if you want to go ahead and use that. Usually for surface mapping, I recommend either AFNI's SUMA or a program like FreeSurfer.